One. Hey everyone, I'm Silver, and today, guys, I'm joined with Lock Moon Dragon. So, what we're doing today, guys, is we are going over the top seven most likely legend decks to get the next legend deck. It's uh, what is it? It's May 11th right now, and in less than a two weeks, in about 15 days, we're going to get the Aichi Sendo Royal Paladin Blaster Legend deck. And that got me thinking, what if we do a video covering the top seven most likely next Legend decks? And I got thinking even more that Black Moon should do the seven or do the seven least likely ones. So if you want to see the least likely clans to get a Legend deck in our opinion, Go check out Black Moon's channel, link in the description, video in the description as well. But guys, this is number 7 on our list. Gear Chronicle. Ranging at the least likely to get a Legend deck, but still has potential for the next one. Um, Gear Chronicle was introduced in the uh, G-Series by the main character, Chrono, and it uses a lot of units. And when I say a lot, it uses like 10. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Gear Chronicle only has one thing, and it's called Time Leap. Yeah. And since I don't want my video to be demonetized for bad language, I think I'm going to stay away from my favorite word that I associate with this clan. But, Black Moon, what do you think about Gear Chronicle and it getting a Legend deck? Well, I think it's possible because... Uh... Chrono is the main character, and if Bushiro decides to go the route of passing the Legend decks over to G to the G characters when when or if a new Vanguard series comes out, it's highly probable that Chrono will get one. So um, that's that's my reasoning there. Um, things we could probably expect from the Gear Chronicle Legend deck is a new Chrono unit. <coughs> We probably see a new Chrono Jet Grade Three supported either with a Chrono Jet G or some form of Chrono Fang as its backup. Because ever since uh, the G, the Strygate series, Chrono Tiger has been Chrono Jet's little friend. Sad face. But um, yeah. So we have that probably come with two of the uh, next stage strides and um. Probably a new upheaval as its secondary grade two to get um it would either run a new upheaval at four two and then it'd get one other un one other unit at two so you would have a total of um eight G units and probably a G guard but I honestly don't see too much else with this deck um or it, it getting anything of interest really. I wouldn't do anything with Zodiac Time Beast. So, with that thought being said, Gear Chronicles is at the number seven spot for at least for probably gonna get a Legend deck, but probably not. Coming in at number six. Okay. Coming in at number six, Nurkami. So this is a beloved clan, and it's really low on the list. But there's a reasoning for that. Um, I'll let Black Moon take it away and give his thoughts before I put in my two cents. Okay. The only thing that I was thinking was two options. Option number one, and I find this highly unlikely, Kai getting another Legend deck where he uses Narukami. Option two, Onri getting a Legend deck that revolves around a new Vanquisher unit. Um, but even then that's kind of an that's kind of a big if. But still given the given his presence in Vanguard G next, I still think it's actually kind of plausible. Okay. So, yep, so um my thoughts are is again, so my thoughts on how a Legend deck is chosen is by its popularity, its use of the clan, 
and how old said unit is to give it a new coat of paint. I mean, the past three Legend decks have really just upgraded the three original main characters' avatars. So, it's unlikely that Kai is going to get another Legend deck, at least in the nearby future. If it was to be an Orokami Legend deck, the odds are, if it is Kai, it would be some form of familiar, not Legion, but a new familiar that runs off of either the Blood or the old one. <coughs> Um, if we were to get a legend deck, I want to say it would lean towards brawlers. Oh, that that's something I haven't considered. Uh, a legend deck, Naoki. Because he showed up I in would season buy that. three. Yeah, I I would buy that. It would be the first legend deck to have Legion, and would have probably it would probably be a dual grade three Legion. That could be interesting it would mean it would have to introduce a new grade th two new grade threes that are good as vanguard alone because brawlers themselves were all legion based with legion grade three so you can't legion with a legion grade three unless it's meta legion Ooh, that could be interesting a grade three that legions that's considered to be the grade two legion of the mm. main grade three for a legion deck Something to play around with, Bushi. There you go, free ideas, man. So I don't really see there ain't too there isn't there was my southern accent. Um there isn't too many other units in Nurikami that you can really do. Maybe eradicators, but um I pay good money for that. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm trying to think of what other uh grade threes there were what's his name used and he only used brawlers and eradicators so maybe vanquish or vanquish sword or whatever it was eradicator we get some support sword. yeah that so eradicators are the probability for a legend deck if they are to get one but um it's unlikely and then that's why it comes in at number six Sorry, Eradicator players. We do really enjoy messing around with Nurikami, but it's just not... It's not important enough in the clan. It did come in around the same time as Gold Paladins and stuff, but I don't see it being too high up on the list. Coming in at number five is Oracle Think Tank. You want to cover this one, buddy? Okay, so... If they choose to go the route of continuing with classic characters getting a legend deck, then I could see us getting a Misaki legend deck that revolves around either Magus, Sukoyomi, or Amaterasu. Um, if they go with the G era, I could see either Kumi with the whole Battle Sisters theme or Tsunacho with the Susano theme. So yeah, I think this clan actually has a fairly decent shot at getting a legend deck and i agree with that that's why i put it at the number five slot um i see it if they were to give a legend deck it would highly be like probably mizaki only because a lot of the g characters aren't really in haven't really been around long enough to make an impact on the series i mean what what's uh um tokoha's friend's name again i'm really bad with kumi them. kumi um, she recently really just stepped into playing the game in the anime, as of this season, really. Probably, at least. I mean, she really didn't play too much in the other seasons. She just was just sort of a side character that played, but we didn't really know what she ran. So, she stepped into the light. So, I do see that their potential for being a Battle Sister deck, because um, Misaki did run a Battle Sister deck at one point. Or she ran them in her, her deck or yeah, something. Yeah, she ran them in her deck. I could also see uh, Scarlet Witch getting support. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think of that one. Um, I I, I want to lean towards uh, Goddess of the Full Moon, Tsukuyomi, only because I'm a huge Tsukuyomi fan. Like, when I started in the anime for the first time, I fell in love with its play style. <laughs> Being not one of the least intelligent people probably on this planet i just love the idea that 
memorizing the order of your cards to the to the T where you could memorize 25 cards left in your deck and know every trigger to come up is just it's a beautiful idea and Oracle Think Tank really deserves the support it doesn't really get a lot with um for a Misaki so Misaki hopefully this is your time to shine next spring you get an Oracle Think Tank thing. after Bushiro shafted you in season 4 Right, oh. You got that shafted so hard. Well, at least, I mean, they got shafted again. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible, I'm sorry. Uh, for people new to the game, before there was Gear Chronicle that Bushiro loved so much, there was Oracle Think Tank. And Harmony. Oracle Think Tank got all the support. Even got support it didn't need at times, and now it doesn't get any support. It's like that one anime guy that doesn't love the girl. Yeah. Girl openly admits, I love you, but I love her. Oh. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. Um, but I hope Oracle Think Tank gets some sort of support. It could be really fun. Coming in at number four is Aqua Force. You guys starting to see a pattern yet with this list? If you haven't, I'll point it out. Most of the cards on this list were introduced in Season 2. Or Season 3. So, well, Aqua Force. Do you want to start it off, or would uh, you like... I think, I think we got a good thing going with you starting it off. Okay, so... I only... I see two possibilities with this. Either... Either Leon Soryu getting a Legend deck, which, you know, would make sense. I mean, he was the main uh, antagonist of Season 2 of the original Vanguard. Or, um, if they decide to go the G-era route, having Jaime Alcaraz getting a Legend deck. And that's my thought process there. So, I'd say it's looking pretty good for Aqua Force. Yes, I agree. Aqua Force is probably one of the least like, or one of the most likely clans to get a um, deck in, as the next uh, legend deck. And I want to believe that it has to do with Leon, either being one of his Maelstroms or what's his other? What, what's his Legion unit? I'm trying to remember. Blue. Uh, isn't it like Tetracore or something? Yeah. Those units. Um. Blue Storm? Yeah, Blue Storm something. Uh, It's not Blue Wave, is it? I thought that was Jaime's. No, I think Blue Wave is his. I think it's, um, could be Ripple. Hmm. I would cry. Uh, one second. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Uh, Vanguard app. This is why you guys should always have your applications on hand and ready to open. Because when you don't, you look bad and you fail. Um, Aqua Force. Grade threes. There's 43 grade, th or there's 44 grade threes. Okay, so we had Blue Storm uh, Maelstrom, which was a Legion unit, or that's just part of its name. I was looking at its reversed. Uh, we have Blue Storm Maelstrom. We had Blue Flight Dragon, Transcore Dragon, which was one of his. Um, another one of his units was a uh, Blue Storm Supreme Dragon Glory Maelstrom. Uh, there was Blue Storm. Oh, where did it go? My application bugged out for a second, so now I gotta re relocate that one unit. It was Blue Storm Wave Tetra Burst Dragon, and we have Blue Wave Dragon Angry Boil. Angry Bolt Dragon. Yeah. And Blue Storm Wave. Yep. Uh, Blue Storm... Blue Wave Dragon Tetracore Dragon. There's another one. So he has a lot of units to work around. Most most of them being Legion based or Break Ride. But which isn't a bad thing. Because he could very easily have a good Legend deck off of any of those units. I'd like yeah. to see Maelstrom get a Legend deck. Maybe work with uh, Angry Bolt and have Blue Storm Stride. That'd be awesome. They could introduce a new mechanic. They could. 
What they could do is have, you know how like there are those grade threes that have effects that activate when you stride? Yeah. Have a limit break that activates when you stride. Ooh, that'd be awesome. What, a, like a GB4, or not, not a GB4, a, wow, it's L4. been forever. An LB4, it's been forever since I've had to use that abbreviation. An LB4 on stride. When you're at 4 damage, counter blast 1, discard a card, all rear guards get the ability to stand at the end of battle. Yeah. Um, if the attack didn't hit, maybe make it once per turn. You gotta figure a way to word it so it doesn't interfere with our already existing skills. Yeah. All units get to attack from the back row and get to restand at the end of their battle. Your entire back row... Gains uh, 5k and can attack from the back row. Yeah, I mean, that could work because realistically, I know a big card is a battery dragon, which is yeah. in the uh, trial deck for Aqua Force, the G trial deck, and its skill is uh, it's a 10k with the ability to um, attack and restand. So, and I think there's a, I think it switches columns at the end of its second attack or something. It's a, I know if it's the first battle, it gets to stand back up. Mm. And I think at the end of battle, it switches columns. Or switches rear guard slots with a unit. So, if you think about it, it, or if it's the first battle, switch your, the unit behind this with this unit. It's something like that. And it's a really good unit, so... Um, there you go, Bushy. You have all the raw material here. Just sponsor us, please. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Bushy Hero. Um, so coming in at number three is Link Joker. Actually, I'm going to find like a little snippet clip of um, what's his name saying it. But Link Joker is your number three slot. So my thought process for this one is that um, they could do a legend deck for <coughs> Ibuki around the Messiahs. And I suppose they could also do one for Reverse Takudo or something, but I find that one a little less likely. I think their best bet would be to do a legend deck for Ibuki around Messiahs. Okay, and my turn to jump in. So, again, I'm a firm believer that they won't take any G characters um, f for the next couple Legend decks, only because, again, they're really close. They get a lot of support as is already. So the so their decks really don't need it. I, I'm a firm believer that we'll either get a... Um, possibly a Glendios deck with a new Glendios unit and some new reverses that should have been in the game in the first place, like Shadow, Gold, and Bermuda. They all deserve reverse units, even though none of them got them. Um, OTT never got a reverse either, I don't think, so they deserve that. I don't think they um, If they were to do an Ibuki deck, it would have to be the leader. It was, right be it was the climactic point before Stride, so... Yeah, before they became a thing. But even they they've got support and I think they're getting more support here in the in the next couple months. Hmm. I mean a lot of people right now are looking for deleter decks. I haven't really looked too far into the future on what clans will be getting or what sub clans will be getting support. But I'm a firm believer that it will be either Glendios or Deleters. But I'm leaning towards Glendios only because again, Ibuki I could see them going down the road in the future and giving a legend deck for his messiahs when the next series comes out and he's no longer a main. Yeah. That's just my personal thought process. Maybe they'll give messiahs a legend deck. It's just going off of what we have for the first three, it's got to be a fairly old unit that doesn't have a lot of support in current that could use the support for fun and then they can charge us an arm and a leg for the trial deck. Yeah. 
because a legend deck costs about twice as much as a single trial deck. Yeah. But it has good reasons, which I'll cover that in another video. Yeah, there's a good reason why they cost more. I have a video planned for that for next week, so be on the lookout for that video. Okay, guys. We're almost done. Coming in at number two. Nova Garapla. <laughs> I now realizing that Nova Garapla really doesn't have a cool emblem flag thing. Okay, so... Oh, I'm sorry, were you going to say something? No. Okay. My thought process is if they wanted to round up the rest of Team Q4 that they could give a Legend deck to Kamui. Um, I don't see them supporting Extreme uh, Battlers more than they already are given, given everything, but they might decide to expand on one of his older subclans like Razors, um, Beast Deities, um... Azura Kaiser. Oh god, that was a thing at one point, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I think it even got a stride or something. Wow. And then they did and then they left it alone after that. <laughs> we'll give you your stride. Okay, we're good. Uh blouse were a thing uh, for like a whole They recently got new support and they're actually a lot better now. Yeah. They're not good, but they're better. Yeah. Like, if you're given the option to run Blouse or Extremes, you still run Extremes. You don't run Blouse. I'd run Blouse, just to I'd, be different. I'd run Blouse just to be different, but I know they're not. it's going to have a hard time topping. Maybe I'd go really out of left field and go with uh, Beast Deities. Now, if you really want to go out of left field and really confuse people, you run Razors. Yeah, Razors. With Extremes. <laughs> Why? Because it confuses the crap out of people. Anyway, your um, thought? My thoughts are... I've been begging for Razor support forever, and I just want there to be Razor support. Honestly, between the number one slot and the number two slot, <coughs> for the past two days, I've been juggling which clan took it, and I made the decision tonight... Nowhere grapplers are fun. I don't think they deserve the number one slot of what will probably get the Legend deck next. But I think either Blouse, Razors, or Beast Deities are going to be one of the three Legend decks for it. It could probably do something really cool and try to encompass all of them, but if it did that, I can see it becoming a big mess. So... I just want to say that Kamui has a lot of options out there. Maybe he, maybe Novas don't need a Legend deck, but just need a whole Nova Kamui box, like a little boost. They need something. Booster. They got like one trial deck in the entire game, and that was it. The rest is just booster support. Did they really only get one trial deck? Yeah, oh, I, I looked it up. They only, yeah, same thing with Oracle Think Tanks. Really? I thought they got, like, two. I think what happened was Oracle Think Tanks got one and Genesis got one, and they were both counted as Misaki decks. Yep. Kamui got one, which wasn't a good one. Yeah, well, that's because the game first came out. No one liked it. Um, although a unit I can see in the in a uh, Legend deck for Kamui is a Mr. Invincible Stride. Oh, 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 dude. I'll never remember that when he uses his, uh, what is it, Mega Blast? <laughs> yeah, I restand Mr. Invincible. Ho, ho, ho. My just, gosh. It was just so funny. It was so good. But realistically speaking, it, it's plausible and it's really high on this list because I think it can get a Legend deck. But there's really just. A lot of Kamui focus now, so we'll see what happens. But last but not least, coming in at the number one slot is ready for it. The suspense is building. Ta -da. Paladin. Bum bum bum. Well, let's see. There's Takudo. He could 
He could always get an Ezel legend deck. Um, Aichi, I guess, could get a Liberator legend deck, but I don't see Aichi getting more than one legend deck unless they decide to do some favoritism there. Um, and then, of course, there's always Tayo. If they decide to give uh, Team Striders their own sets of legend decks, but that that's just my thought process there. So my thought process is again, I'm not really banking on G characters getting legend deck anytime soon. But I believe um, Takudo could get definitely an Ezel deck, being that Ezel is his main unit. We haven't really seen a lot of Ezel support. I mean, we've seen more of it, but we really haven't seen a whole lot of it. Be nice, though. Yep, it'd be nice. Uh, in this Legend deck, I would assume they would run a Raven, four Raven here Ezels, a new, brand new Grade 3 Ezel, and uh, give you at least two to four strides of the Ezel stride, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. Can I interject something? Yeah. Here's my prediction. A new Ezel unit with a stride skill, Ooh. a new Ezel stride, and then two copies of, of the old Ezel stride. Kind of like what they did for the Aichi deck where they gave us some new Saber strides, but they yeah. gave us two of the original. And if you look at the, uh, not counting the Ren Legend deck because it didn't have anything to give at the time, but if you look at the Kai and Aichi, it does give you two of the harder to get. Now, the reason why I want to say it would give you four of the old Ezel Stride is you really can't just use two. Because it's a Persona flip of itself, is it not? It is. So, but then again, so is uh, so is Religious Soul Saver. And I guess the Aces as well. Okay, so maybe... Uh, I don't know, I just feel like that Ezel Stride is more of a key important factor to the deck. I unless mean, they create something newer and better. Yeah. Which like in that they case, they'd probably give us two or four. Hmm. I don't know. What's an, icon what's an iconic Ezel-based unit that would get a stride? I mean, if you look at... Looking at the Legend decks, you have... You got Blaster Dark Diablo, and then you got his old grade three as a grade four. You got the... You got the Legend for Overlord. And then you got Novell as a grade four stride which i was hoping would be a grade five stride only able to stride on novel but hey um f no feelings are hurt here and then in the aichi deck we got blaster blade and then alfred became a stride so what is an ezel grade three what is a ezel based unit that could become a grade three and then ezel becomes a stride i don't know i, I i'd have to think on that one a bit more um, but with this Legend deck, I could see them very well giving us Blaster Blade Spirits and Blaster Dark Spirits for deck filler. Because Bushiro's original? <laughs> be, it'd be nice. Um, you could also get, they could also give us a, um, Bluish Flame Liberator deck. Again, I don't see, we don't see Aichi getting another Legend deck, and if he gets another Legend deck, it better be a Blaster Joker deck. Because Blaster Joker is the bomb. And we really don't need Aichi getting a back-to-back -back Legend Dex. Yeah. As much as I love Aichi. As much as I don't like Aichi anymore. You don't like... You were rooting for him all this time to win in his match against Chrono, and now suddenly you hate him? I have a problem with Aichi, as in... He's a character that you saw in Episode 1 of G... Doesn't show up for another three seasons, but you. Oh, get... so what this is is the falling out then. Yes, because you get you're, you get cameos. You're upset that he didn't write to you, basically. <laughs> yes, my problem is is he got cameos, but had no real importance to the series, but he had background importance. So. Oh, that's Bushi Road's fault, if anything. Yes, I mean, like season one, he got a cameo. Oh. Here you go, you drop something, or something like that. He runs into Chrono. Season 2, ride my avatar! Blasto Blade looks at all your friends! Ah! That's all we get? Like, and then we have to wait a whole season, and halfway into the new season, to see him actually, and then he's like, oh, okay, I'm here for three episodes and I'm dipping. 
Like, you were well, my favorite in all character. Fairness, in all fairness, they don't want him to steal the show. Well, he doesn't... No one has to worry about him stealing the show. Chrono's already, already stolen his show and stolen his sister. What fan art are you looking at? I'm not looking at fan art. Um, the Japanese voice actor actors for Chrono and Emmy got married. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's that a, uh, fan little, art like, I saved on Pinterest suddenly <laughs> makes so much sense now. There's a uh, fan picture of... Um, Aichi being upset with Chrono and Chrono asks why and he goes you stole my show and you stole my sister the one that I saw is one of of um Chrono marrying Emmy while an angry uh Kamui glares at them yeah that's another one I've seen but um yeah so I don't think Aichi's gonna get a gold paladin legend deck uh Ezel or Bluish Flame is my vote maybe Gurguip and I'm okay with that. It would be the only G character I'm okay with. Um, and I just want to run through some quick honorable mentions that may or may not. If we stick with G, you obviously got Neo Nectar and another Royal Paladin. Um, could probably get... I really don't know, actually. I didn't think this looks through. I only thought of Neo Nectar and Royal Paladin. You got any no. honorable mentions? Um... No, not really. Okay, so honorable mentions here on the screen is Neo Nectar and another Royal Paladin based off of their G series. But if Bushiro was to do that, I'd prefer to see group legend decks. You know, like Trinity, uh, Tri Three, Team Strider. Um, if they're gonna do legend decks off of main characters, I'd rather pay the eighty to ninety dollars for three trial decks or three legend decks in one box then to have to wait a year apiece and waste yeah. 10 years of my life going through useless legend decks that no one really needs support for yeah i mean i hope neo nectar gets a legend deck as an honorable mention only because asha needs to have an easy access to its grade four lineup and its new asha unit mm-hmm but before we go talk any longer and talk all your ears off, guys, this has been the top seven most likely Legend decks to come in the next year. You want to say anything else before we finish the outro? Yes. You guys have a wonderful day. Okay, I've been the Silver Wolf, joined with... Black Moon Dragon. And guys, we'll see you next time. Peace.